Have you ever been in a situation where you were trying to come up with some slide design ideas and unable to make any progress? This video will be able to help you in those situations in future. Take a blank slide and add a color palette of your choice. Add a rectangular shape on the top half of the slide. Format it with no outline and color. Now add a hexagonal shape while holding the shift key. Place it like the top half of the shape is on the first rectangle. Create a copy and drag it out of the slide. Press Ctrl and D create three more copies and place them side by side like the first one. Align them. Format them with no outline. Now select the first rectangle and the four hexagons. Go to Format and Merge Shape and select Subtract. Now, while holding the Shift key, reduce the size of the other hexagon slightly to fit into the empty space. Adjust the position of the hexagon. Create three more copies for the other blank space. Place them and align all of them. Select all the hexagons and select No Fill for Color. Change the shape outline to the rectangle's color. Adjust the line width. Now add icons or numbers in the hexagons according to your slide needs. I have added icons here from the Icons tab. Place the icons inside hexagons. Align them and format them. Add a title to your slide. I have used the font Comic Sans for this slide. Add four text boxes under each of the hexagons. Add necessary inputs in those, use the Comic Sans font and change the color of the texts. Align the text boxes, select No Color Fill for the text box.
The first slide is ready now. Take a blank slide and add a color palette of your choice. Add a rectangular shape. Tilt the shape like the video. Make sure it covers the corner of the slide. Once done, cut the additional part of the rectangle out of slide area. Add a rectangle in each side and use the Merge Shape option to do this. Format the rectangle now. Select no outline and color for the rectangle. Now add a circle holding the shift button. Place it on the first shape in a way that half of the circle is outside of it. Create three more copies and place them on top of the shape like the video. Align the circles. Create one more copy of the circle. Now, select the shape first and the circles and go to the Merge Shape option, select Subtract. Reduce the size of the extra circle by holding Shift. Place that into the hollow area of the shape. Create two more copies and do the same thing. Align all the circles. Format them. Add a title for the slide. I have used the Agency FB font. Add a text box and add the necessary text. You can add arrows like video before each line to make it more visually appealing. Add necessary numbers or icons in the circles. I have used number in this slide. Use Agency FB font for the numbers. Add text boxes on the right side of each of the circles. Align the text boxes.
Now, select all the circles and right-click. Go to Format Shape and add Shadow. You can select Offset Center. Change the blur point and transparency according to your need. Do the same for the first shape that we have placed in the slide. Your second slide is ready now. Add one more blank slide for the third one. Add a rounded edge rectangular shape. Make the edges as round as possible. Place them in the bottom part of the slide area. We will be adding four of them in this part. I have adjusted the size by trying them. You can directly use a width of 2.83 inches and a height of 6.73 inches. Insert a circle holding shift. You can use a radius of 2.22 inches. Place it in the top part of the rounded rectangle. Now cut the additional part of the rounded shape using a rectangle and merge shape option like we did earlier as well. Select the circle and rounded shape and go to the merge shape option and select combine. Create three copies of the new shape. Place them side by side. Align all the shapes horizontally. Now change the color of each of the new shapes with different shades. Add numbers or icons according to your need in the hollow part. I have used icons in this. Adjust the size of the icons and place them inside the hollow part. Align them. Adjust the color of the icons according to the color of the shapes. Add a text box under the icon for each of the shape. Add necessary inputs there. Add a title for the slide. For this slide, I have used Georgia font. That's it. The third slide is ready now. If you find the content helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know if you have any suggestions for the next video. Thanks for watching.